Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Scrapless Sunday where Laura and I are going to be doing Victoria Marie and that was my photo. Now, I struggled with this just a little bit and I th it was because I'm in a, I was in a funk. Like, I did really well. Like, I was able to get a bunch of stuff done so it was kind of like boom, boom, boom. And then we came to Sunday's layouts which is this one here in the morning and then my weekly spread for my bullet journaling in my calendar I just was like I don't know what to do like for me Victoria Marie I absolutely love her layouts there's nothing that I have never found wrong it's that she is very simple in her layouts which is a challenge for me because all I want to do is embellish, embellish, embellish. But then also she does a ton of journaling. And I'm not really good. It's not that I'm not really good. It's the fact that I just don't want to journal a lot. So I had to find, I went through and I found a layout that I loved, which was the picture that you saw. It was of the I Am collection and it had like four different four different colors yeah four different pattern papers and that's what I do here and I am sorry about the lighting I was doing this during the during the day and let me tell you this the weather here in Georgia has just been weird and so it's been making my layout look like this and I am so sorry about that there's absolutely nothing I can do I, I I'm like it needs to quit being gloomy is what it is and it's been like it's either been really rainy cold or funky sun and cold like it gets warm and then it like gets cold it's so weird and it's February you know January February weather so unfortunately it made my layout look like this and you gotta love that right there's not much I can do so here I am, I'm putting all the layers together like is what was in her sketch, or her, not her sketch, but her layout that I found. And I do absolutely love how this turns out. It just took me a while, but I love it. So I happened to find that this collection is from my, I did my um, eight and a half by 11. Again, Victoria Marie does a ton of eight and a half by 11 layouts. So I thought this would work perfect for me to do another photo from my, from my um, retreat that I went to in May just so that I could be able to finish this up. And she did do a little ruffling and tuffling on it. And I realized that my papers that I cut, I'm not sure if I wasn't paying attention, but they were a little bit shorter than what it should have been. So instead of like, oh man, redoing this, I just cut it down and gave myself a little bit of a white border. No big deal. And I am truly sorry about my voice. I've been teaching, as you could probably tell in some of my other videos, I've been teaching a lot more so my voice isn't used to talking like every day, all day long. As you know, it's kids and all that kind of stuff. So my voice is going in and out and I'm sorry for that. It's not bad, it's just a little different. But I decided to back up this photo. Now this photo is of my daughter she does tons of different weird things and I'm not saying weird in a bad way just weird things with her phone and her ponies right now and I thought this stay collection this stay colorful collection for dear Lizzie with all the unicorns and mercats and mermaids was perfect that's why I used these particular photos and this time she lined up all of her little my little ponies that she's had at that time and her phone, you can't see it in the in the photograph itself in here, but her phone's on the floor and she's trying to do a process video or like a process video of playing with her ponies on her her phone, which really she's just watching YouTube videos and she's talking. And her and Josh happened to catch her while we were gone and she of course Josh sends me photos because she knows 
he knows to send them to me. And so I decided that, of course, I have to scrapbook that she's doing exactly what I'm doing, except it's with her ponies. And this um, chipboard sticker says, we, I believe in unicorns. And this, pro this process video only took me 25 minutes. That's kind of why I like doing um, eight and a half by 11s. I get these done super duper quick. So I pull off this mirror or this mermaid and then I find a mirror cat and I line them up together and the, the exact same two that are on this pattern paper are exactly these two. So it works perfect. Make sure that you go over and check out Laura Alberts as well as I will leave all of the description of where I found this one. I found this one on Pinterest. I do not know if this has a process video or not for Victoria Marie, but I will also leave her channel as well. And then obviously I'll leave Laura Albert's channel too so that you can see what she has done. I don't know what she did this time around. Um, she didn't send it over to me, which is fine because I absolutely love seeing what um, we do anyway for these scrap lift Sundays. Make sure you check back. We do it twice a month. And it's always, for right now, it's been the second and the fourth Sunday of every month. Now that we've gotten back in the swing of things and we're not doing December dailies and all that, or documented or whatever type stuff. And I'm placing these stickers here in just a place and I decided to pull out the ice cream. And also some hearts and I pretty much that's about all I really do with this layout and I do get out my no my um, mist that is silver and I spray it around or kind of dab it around I do a little bit of my journaling and then it's pretty much done so it's pretty easy and I only did because this only took me like 18 20 minutes I only did this the two times so this is only sped up two times. So that's why it's kind of a shorter vi video, but it didn't take me long to do. I kept it pretty simple, I guess. And really, that's what her layouts are. They are simple as well. And I placed an orange. It just matches the colors. Orange has nothing to do with this, other than that there is orange in the, um, in, I think, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, Rainbow Dash has orange in, 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 in that pony because it's got the rainbow colors. But it has orange on it, too, for some reason. Here I bring out the mitts. Make sure that you go and check out their channel, their, both their channels as well. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.